Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Flame Leone 2300 here, and we're back with another Beyblade unboxing for you guys. Uh, so far, we managed to unbox the two new Beyblade Burst Surge products, which is Super Hyperion over here, and uh, not King, but Colossal Helios over here. Uh, if you guys have not watched those videos, please make sure you guys do, so you can get a little bit of idea on how these Surge products work. And uh, while you're at it, also click that subscribe button down below. It really helped me a lot. I do want to get to 700 subscribers, and we'll get there. But without further ado, today we are unboxing Spear Dullahan right here. So this is the last and final uh, Surge product that I'm going to unbox for now uh, for you guys. So I remember I put a poll up for you guys on Instagram. Uh, and apparently, nobody really want to get Spirit Dullahan, sadly, but he is the last one that's going to be unboxed here out of the three. So, yeah. If we take a look at the front over here, on the side it says Baby Labor Surge, right? Speed Storm. It says Spirit Dullahan D6 right there. And then it says D01 and slash TSP01 right there. Don't really know what that means, but I think that's just the parts themselves, I guess. That's how they name it. Really complicated instead of giving a name. Uh, if we give a look over here to the Dullahan attack ring and sparking chip or chip itself, right? Um, I gotta say there's really not much of an evolution and we'll compare, you know, the regular evolution to this one. It doesn't really look like there's an evolution a little bit maybe because they had to adjust a couple things because now this is a sparking bay or a surge bay in that matter, right? The attack itself looks exactly the same. Nothing really different. So you can see there's like a little like sword of uh, four swords going around. Right, like a knight, which is pretty cool. Then for the other two pieces, we have the weight. I think this is called blade. Not too sure. I don't remember since this is a very, very old part. My burst terminology is not there as well, but I'm trying. And then we have this piece over here. I think this piece came with the first ever Ragnarok, like the pre-hybrid ones. Uh, but this is taller than the original driver and we'll probably, I think I have the driver somewhere. I would, I'm going to also compare to show you guys how, what I mean, but this is tall. This is very tall. And I think that's the whole idea with the gimmicks here. If you haven't seen the Helios and Hyperion, right? The drivers are very tall. And then if we take a look at the back, uh, here's how it looks on the back here. You have the parts, you know, how it shows the sparking chip and everything it says it spins to the right. And then we have the stats, which kind of look garbage to my opinion, uh, compared to the other two. So it says attack is a 5, uh, burst is a 2, defense is a 4, weight is 4, um, agility is 6, and stamina is 3. Not too sure if that is correct in my opinion, but we are going to find out when we unbox this. Also, another thing too, um, if you didn't see the box art on both Helios and Hyperion, right? It did show them actually bursting Dullahan. So I'm going to predict that's exactly what's going to happen uh, when we have this actually versus the other two guys. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, take everything out of the package here, right? I'm going to also compare it to its uh, pre-evolution counterpart, and it will give us a test run. So let's do that right now. Alrighty, so we took Spear Dullahan out of the package. I also have its pre-evolution counterpart here too as well. But before we actually compare, let's actually look at Dullahan himself, Spear Dullahan, right? So as you guys see here, this is the attack ring, right? Looks pretty nice, has this really like edge... Or like edgy look to it, I would say. Because <laughs> it's like all spiky and stuff. Uh, looking down at it. It's pretty, pretty nice. Look at the side here. This is how the attack ring works. Kind of, it's like the same as the original dual hand. The only difference is, is these little, um, you know, ends here. You guys can see. So I guess the bait can like hook in a little bit and get attacked. Don't know how really effective that's going to be. But yeah. It's pretty nice. We're also going to take the chip off really quick so you guys can see the chip in depth and also get that QR code, right? So here is uh, Spirit Dullahan, the chip looks really nice. I would say the only new uh, look to it is going to probably be the top part here. It has like a full complete helmet and then the inside too as well, the chip. Then if you take a look at the back, here is the QR code for you guys. Let me actually put it this way. Trying to get it up there. There we go. There's a QR code for you guys. So if you guys want to look at it, take it. Uh, use it on the app. You guys can. All right. So very nice. Put the chip in one more time. Bada bing. Bada boom. Very easy. Okay. Then we have the weight, which 
you know, really nobody cares about. So we'll just put that down. And then we have the driver itself. Now, uh, I did make a mistake a little bit. So this is not the driver that comes with Ragnarok. It's actually a dr driver that comes with the uh, pre-hybrid Spryzen. So I actually have it on the side over here. So you guys can see, this is like the original one that came with the pre-hybrid Spryzen. If we take a look in comparison, uh, right here between these two, you can obviously, this one is way taller. The one that comes with Spear Dual Hand. It's very, very tall. Another thing too, the middle and the tip itself is much wider, uh, which I guess that's going to be very good. So it has more control uh, in the middle when it needs to. But yeah, this is massive. This is very huge. And I think that's the huge gimmick with uh, the new um, Surge Bay. Not only that some of the drivers have metal, is that they are very big too as well. So again, I feel like the height is going to actually be very good for base to topple over other bays. Uh, so you can come up with different interesting combinations. It's going to be really wild here. And then we put Spear Dual Hand together. All right, let me actually give it a sec to put together. All right, this is exactly how it looks in height. Like, look at this. Look at this height, guys. This is crazy. I feel like it's like a pencil. Like, you can just write on it and something. But that's crazy. That's crazy in height. I feel like this this bay is going to definitely burst really easy. Let's see how, like, tight is it. Oh, no. It is going to burst easily. Look. Can, like, one turn. One little slap. And it's, like, turning. That is not good. L look at that. Look at that. It's very close to bursting. That's one little turn. Oh my gosh. This is not good at all, guys. Yeah. This is this is going to burst easily. So you're going to see a lot of bursts with this base. I, I best believe that box are predicted the future. This bay is going to burst very easily. <laughs> and then if we look, uh, take a look actually with the old pre-hybrid here. Let me just disassemble him real quick. Take a look at the old pre-hybrid. All right. You can see a little bit of differences. Uh, what I noticed first is actually the helmet. So again, this part here kind of got modified and looks better now on the new one. As you can see. And it was funny too. It looks like uh, the bay kind of swapped color. So like the helmet is gold here, but it's blue here. And then gold here, but blue here. So it's very interesting. It's like it swapped colors there. But I, I like this color better. It definitely suits it better. You guys can see another thing too to notice. There's really not the diamond part as you can see here. It's sort of there, but it's filled in the same color as like the spear or sword or whatever you call it. Instead of having these like little blues, which I would have liked that. I would actually like to have those slow little blue things around. But hey, it doesn't have it. And then if we look at the side view, I'm going to actually put these guys together. You guys look at the side view here. The attack uh, molding is kind of the same. The only difference, again, is this little part here, which they, the bay can kind of clamp on on to other bays. And if you spin it around, right, kind of has that same exact, exact vibe to it. I don't think anything really different. Another thing, too, is that this is wider. As you guys can see here, it is wider, a little bit longer than the uh, previous dual hand, right? And then another thing, if we take a look at the uh, driver from the old one, I have it in slingshot form. The surge one is still taller by a bit. All right, as you guys can see there, almost the same size, but I would say this is taller by just a little smidge. So it's crazy. It's crazy to see that the surge bays are going to be an advantage with height, but I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. We'll, time will tell uh, with different combos and different ways that uh, people are going to put that. And then if we put both of them together, just one last time, all right? This is how they both look side by side. You can even see a little bit of the height difference too as well, all right? That there is a height difference. This one is way taller than this one. But yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see how this is going to perform and work. So what we're going to do, we're going to give it some test runs. We'll also have it uh, go against uh, Hyperion and Helios here too as well to see you know, if it is good or is it not good, okay? So with that being said, let's get to that right now. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to give uh, Spear Dullahan a test run right now. Uh, we're just only going to do it in the Classic Beyblade Burst Stadium because it's not really going to do anything in the uh, Dash Stadium either. Uh, and you'll see why in a sec. So here we go. Three, two, one. Go, let's see. 
So it kind of goes around a little bit, but other than that, it just kind of stays centered into the middle. So that's why I'm saying like it doesn't really have to do anything in the dash stadium because that's going to happen. That's literally all you're going to see here. Like so. All right. Also, it doesn't really look like standalone wise it's the best because it's already starting to slow down from here. Probably this is showing the camera as much, but yeah, it is starting to slow down. Let's see what happens if we do like an angle launch. If we do like an angle launch, let's see what happens because of the height. Three, two, one, go. Alright, like that. Comes in the middle, but then stabilizes itself again. Like so. But yet again, I think it doesn't really perform well at all. And I feel like it is going to burst just like how it shows it on the uh, box art of the other surge base too as well. It's pretty crazy. So let's actually do like a couple uh, test battles now. We'll first do it with the old dual hand, right? So we have the new and the old dual hand go against each other. And then I'll put this against uh, King Helios, not King Helios, uh, Colossal Helios and uh, Super Hyperion too as well. So let's actually do that now. Uh, with this dual hand, I will keep it in its regular form and then its slingshot form just to give it that height. So let's see which dual hand is going to be better. Three, two, one, go. 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 Okay. Oh, there goes the pre hybrid dual hand or the last evolution dual hand. <laughs> that was uh, something right there. Let's try it one more time because I did feel like I launched it like right here and it went to the pocket very easily. Okay, give it a second press run. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Oh no, that was bad. Let's try that again. Hold up. That was weird actually. I don't know why it does this. Okay, try it again. There we go. That is absolutely weird. Oh. Alrighty guys, so we're going to give uh, Spirit Dullahan a test run here. We'll just keep it in the normal Beyblade Burst Stadium because uh, I don't think anything's going to really happen in the Dash Stadium with this. You're going to see why in a sec. So let's give it a test. Three, two, one, go. All right. The premise of it, it just mainly stays in the middle. It's not really going to do much going around. Sometimes it may move around. Uh, but other than that, the driver itself just mainly stays in the middle, or the bay itself just mainly stays in the middle because of the driver. Alright, I'm going to try it one more time. This time we'll also do like an angle launch for like the height. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And, yep, again, as you guys can see, it just normally stays in the middle and nothing else. Alright, so nothing really too special. So let's actually do this. We'll give it some test battles now. Uh, we're going to actually have it first go against the old evolution of Dullahan here. Uh, see which one is going to be better. And then, yeah. And then we'll get it with the other surge base too as well. So let's try it. Ready? Get to one. Go shoot. Go shoot. Okay, ooh, right on his tail. Which Dullahan's going to be better here? Oh, it looks like Spirit Dula Hand is not doing well at all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Spirit Dula Hand lost the evolution of Dula Hand? Man, how dare it. How dare it. Okay, let's see what happens if we put the old evolution in first. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Go. Shoot. Okay, give those attacks. Which Dula Hand is going to survive? Spear or the other Dula Hand? Okay. Oh my gosh, Spear Dula Hand is going to lose again? Are you kidding me? I don't think this is an evolution, guys. This is not an evolution at all. <laughs> what is going on? How is this Dula Hand still better than the, uh, the new Dula Hand? That makes no sense. No sense. We'll even try this. We're actually going to put this Dula Hand in slingshot form now, just to give it like that height too as well. Oops, gave it its height too. Uh, and let's see actually, you know, if it does better or it still beats Dulahan here. Screw Dulahan. All right, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Okay, well, there uh, goes that Dulahan, nice. Of course it has to burst on its own. That's why it's called Beyblade Burst, uh, folks. <laughs> 
That's why it's called Beyblade Burst for a reason. It just actually bursts. All right, it's pretty funny. Okay, let's actually do it again. Let me uh, just put the bay together really quick. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Uh, let's try it again. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. Ah, that came off the bay. That's another thing I too hate about the Hasbro ones. It doesn't really work well with sparking launchers. Yeah, let's actually do that one more time because I gave uh, this dual hand or one of the dual hands a head start. I'll make sure they're tight enough. Okay, three, two, one. Let's see. There we go. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. Self KO. <laughs> All right, cool. That's that's exactly what we want to see a self KO. All right, but anyway, I do feel like the original dual hand is better when it gets into this performance uh, mode here for the driver. But I don't know. This dual hand really sucks. Let's try it against the other uh, surge base. So let's actually have it go against uh, Super Hyperion. All right? Have these two guys go ahead at it with each other. All right, ready. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. And nice. <laughs> Out of the pocket and burst at the same time. That's what we like to see, folks. Pretty darn cool. <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time, one more round, and then we'll get Colossal Helios uh, against Spear Dullahan. Ready? Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Ah, uh, yeah, not so well, is it? Whoa, look at Super Hyperion's on its side. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? I, I gotta do one more round. Super Hyperion was on its side like this and gliding. That was crazy. I have never seen that before. The only thing I've seen that happen is with the new Helios when it actually does that because of the blue weight. But other than that, I've never seen that. All right. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. Hey, goes a strong attack. And nice. What a strong knockout blow for Super Hyperion. Okay. Pretty cool. Let's actually have it go against uh, Colossal Helios now. Give me a Colossal Helios. Here it is. All right, so yeah, we got Colossal Helios. Let's have it go against uh, Spirit Dullahan. All right. I'm going to put Spirit Dullahan first in the ring, and then if anything, I'll swap for the next round. Ready? Three, two, one. Go shoot. Go shoot. Oh, and a burst, and a double burst. Oh, my gosh. Well... Uh, Spirit of Dullahan did burst first, I'll give it that, and then Colossal Helios burst second. I told you the predictions are true, guys. On the box art of King he uh, a Colossal Helios, it burst Spirit of Dullahan, and that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened here. Alright, let's switch. Let's have Colossal Helios go in first now. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Go shoot. gonna take it this time let's see let's see all right we're going ahead it's just circling around circle 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 and yeah of course uh colossal helios is gonna take it all right one more bonus round let's have spirit dual hand be launched in first and then colossal second i want to see another burst finish for the ending here all right Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. Come on, burst, 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 burst. Let's see it. Come on. Yeah, so you're going out of not doing well at all. <laughs> at least it comes in a single pack, like the one that doesn't come with the ripcord or anything. Man, Spirit Dual Hand got dominated right there. Destroyed. Out of here. <laughs> Wow, well, that was something uh, very interesting with uh, Spirit Dullahan here. So, I mean, like I said, it is an exclusive, so I give it a pass on getting exclusive. 
However, you don't care about exclusive, do not get Spear Dual Hand. It sucks. It just honestly sucks. You saw how much it got destroyed uh, with every bay that we've had to go against. Even the original Dual Hand beat it. You know what? I want to see if this Dual Hand can actually beat it. I'm just going to do one. Just one, because I'm running out of time on my video. I want to see even if the Hyper Spear one can beat it. Okay, okay, I, I'm going to say this the Hyper Spear would have beat that. That would have beat that right there if it didn't knock out. But that was other than that. So this Spear Dual Hand, no, oh, no, it's just not, not good at all for a Surge Bay. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys found this uh, video interesting and very informational because now you saw Spear Dual Hand is not great at all. And especially, I think what really hinders it is the driver and the weight. It's so light, so it's going to really just get knocked all over the place. Like, especially a bay that looks like this and looks like more for attack, having these parts is not okay at all. It's, it's just not. It's just going to really get destroyed. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, enjoyed this uh, video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe uh, to the channel. Please do. I'm trying to get to 700 subscribers. We are almost about halfway there. So, you know, if you guys can do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Take it easy, everyone.